Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the DC Direct Creactivated Series 1 Lobo. Now, let's get a good look at Lobo here in the packaging. Um, this was an older series. I didn't really pay much attention to it. Um, I actually just found this guy at HeroCon. Of course, Lobo is an awesome character, so I had to pick this guy up. But um, as you can see, his only accessories, he comes with his chain and his base. And he's got different little, um, looks like grenades on his side here. I don't think those are removable, though. So, on to the back of the packaging here. On the back, you can see the other characters in the way, which were Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, and Lobo. Of course, the big three and Lobo himself. And it says, DC Comics' most famous characters brought together in one sizzling collection only from DC Direct. And down here on the little spiel, it says... Lobo, with the power to rejuvenate himself from even a single cell, Lobo is indestructible, which is a handy trait to have when you're the world's premier bounty hunter. Nothing will stop him from getting the job done. Of course, um, there's a lot more to Lobo than just being able to rejuvenate himself. Um, once he gets your scent, he can track you anywhere in the universe. There's no hiding from him. I mean, in his own words, he's the ultimate bastich. Just a fantastic character. So that being said... Fantastically excited to have Lobo. Let's pull this bad boy out of the packaging. And here we have Lobo out of packaging, and he is a fantastic figure. Let's get a quick 360 of him here. As you can see, um, this appears to be a real metal chain. It has a very dense weight to it with a plastic hook on the end. Of course, the um, chain hook is Lobo's weapon of choice if you haven't ever read any of the character. But um, just overall, the detail on this guy is superb. I mean, a fantastic face sculpt, great detail all down his outfit, and um, like I thought, the grenades over here are non-detachable, but they do have a tiny silver hook at the top, which um, just like a real grenade would have a pin that can move around, and is looks like it's actually metal too as well. I think so. I mean, just overall fantastic. Does that hang back out? Oops. So, um, basically pulling Lobo off, you can see his creactivated base. He actually attaches to the base very well. Um, so putting that to the side. Now, his fists are closed, which at first I was kind of, um, I don't want to say it bothered me because it really didn't, but it does make putting the chain in a little more time consuming than you might think. But, um, the more I think about it, it seems like if his hands would have been open, the chain would have been constantly falling out, which here it's not going anywhere. Okay, so that being said. Let's actually get the chain out of his hand really quick. As you can see, it just slips in and out. Like I already said, it appears to be a real metal chain. Very nice. Lobo's articulation is also very nice as well. Um, he is at kind of this permanent crouch with the way his knees are bent. I mean, the way his um knee pads are kind of forcing his knees to be bent. But it's really not a big deal. Um, Lobo is kind of the character... I mean, that pose is really very Lobo. If you can't, if you haven't read any of his books, um, a fantastic amount of articulation to be kind of a lesser known line. Arms do a full 360, go out to about here, bend at the elbow and spin at the wrist. Same for both arms, although a little stiff at this elbow joint. Um, head looks like it would do a full 360 if you could just kind of jostle the hair around, but it seems like the hair is going to keep it pretty solidly in place. Um, no waist articulation. Legs go forward and back as well as out very slightly. Spin. Bend at the knee. Oops. Uh-oh. Ah, not broke. It just popped off. Thank goodness. Hate to have a figure this awesome break. And it looks like he also... No, he doesn't spin at the boot. It looks like he could, though. If they wanted to have put that articulation in there. It looks like they skipped it, though. So, um, aside from that unfortunate little bit of leg um, articulation where it popped off, which honestly you just need to be gentle with the figure. Um, his legs do both have the same range of articulation. Actually it looks like the they don't they aren't really meant to go out all that much, just very, very slightly. Too far out is probably what'll pop your leg off. Um but overall a fantastic looking figure. Um fantastic detail, great articulation to be a DC direct. That being said, let's put his chain back in his hand. So, um, yeah, a lot of people have given up on this figure in favor of going for the DC Universe Classics figure, which um, I don't have. I do have the um, 
Wave 4 Trigon, which is, I know, the base of the figure. I know they kind of repainted it off that. But overall, this is a superb figure. Even better than that, at HeroCon, it only cost me 5 bucks to grab this guy. Now, I did a little looking online, and it looks like online you're going to pay about $15 to $20 to get this guy. That is a steal if you're a Lobo fan. Um, don't be put off by the fact the legs kind of popped off. I am kind of rough with my figures when I'm showing articulation. But let's just make sure he gets on the base here. And this is a fantastic figure. I highly recommend him. And this is JTrain997 saying, I'll see you soon, YouTube.